Well, welcome to another edition of Tea with Dave. Uh, and I have a special guest uh, called Alexandra, uh, who's part of the Inclusive Recreation Program. Uh, and so why don't we start? No, before we even start there, I need to know what kind of tea are you drinking? Today, I have some green tea. Awesome. That was a choice. I saw it in my cupboard, um, but I, I went for some uh, traditional Earl Grey. So uh, yeah, 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 there you go. Awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, yeah, your title within the, the our, our department? Yeah, so my name's Alexandra. I am with Inclusive Recreation and I am one of the portfolio coordinators um, and I handle all of the East District. So okay. yeah. Fantastic. Um, and so yeah, if you can define Inclusive Recreation, uh, how would you define that? Well, I would say our small but mighty team helps open up opportunities for everyone in our community to participate in recreation. Um, we offer services to all ages and really it's just opening that door so that everybody in our community can have that equal access to do those fun sorts of recreation activities that um, sometimes barriers might make difficult to access. So we're there to help open those doors. So some of that, I'm assuming, has to do with ensuring that our facilities are, you know, accessible and, and easy to be able to go into. Uh, so, you know, I've done my accessibility training. Is that something that you guys sort of oversee or is that really just you ensure that it's there for your clients to be able to access the, the facilities? So the physical um, building accessibility and um, like information in accessible formats, that's all done through corporate accessibility. So that's a separate unit from us, but where we come in is we work very closely in the um, formation of the AODA policy, and that leans more towards like the support person policy. Um, sometimes we'll help field some requests about accessibility in buildings where some of our clients may experience some issues. So we would flag that onto the corporate accessibility unit and they would actually handle all those types of requests and whatnot. But uh, of course, one city, one team, we're all, you know, aiming to um, achieve that accessibility all around. So we're always here to help. Yeah. So from what I understand, we have, uh, you know, our recreation and culture department, we offer all sorts of interesting programs. Uh, so how does Inclusive Rec fit in with uh, our general program offerings? Yeah, so we work really closely with facilities um, and we also, what we specialize in is we offer a lot of specialized programming. So we offer anything for children and adults, anything in between. Um, we have a, a day program we run um, for adults with developmental disabilities. Uh, we have those running in four areas across the city. We offer um, shared care, so that's one-to-one uh, -one support for children um, in summer camps, PA day camps, winter break camps, um, and we work really closely with the facilities in our districts to um, offer supports in the camps that they're running. So uh, children with exceptionalities, they would register with the Inclusive Rec, they would gain the shared care um, program and then we would be able to uh, support them in the camp that they're registered in. Um, we also run some programs for children who are medically fragile, technologically dependent. Um, that's called their spirit and our rock rattle roll program um, in the summer. We offer programming for, um, it's called our ABI program, Acquired Brain Injury Program. That's for clients who would have any sort of um, acquired brain injury or post-stroke. Um, and really what we're doing is we're just working alongside facilities to go in, offer support, um, provide resources so that, you know, maybe it's a child that's not yet identified or maybe they're just struggling in a really large camp setting. Well, Inclusive Rec offers um, sort of like consultations where we'll go in, we'll observe, we'll see maybe what the camp could be doing better to help include children and be more inclusive. Um, I brought some, some, some photos of some resources we would go in and offer as uh, support. So this is one of our favorites. It's called Zones of Regulation. 
And this really helps when you have, you know, 30, 40 kids running around, it helps kind of determine where are they today? Are they having a red day? Are they angry? Are they having a green day where it's green means go? It's a great day. How can we really break down those barriers? Um, maybe they have a child who gets really frustrated um, while we would go in. We could observe that and provide something like this. We call it our figure eight. And the child would actually put their finger and trace it and breathe. Um, so it's a lot of those, those strategies that Inclusive Rec, we can go, we can offer those. We can show the staff um, how to work with them so that camps are more accessible um, and we're able to support as many children as possible. So, yeah. Very, very neat. Uh, so it sounds like we have a wide variety of things that we're able to yeah. offer, which is really, really neat. Um, okay, great. So how would somebody uh, find out about, you know, the programs and resources? What's sort of the one-stop shop that they can start to get information on, on Inclusive Rec? Absolutely. So on Ottawa.ca, um, you can go and browse our Inclusive Recreation Guide. So it's the same concept as the um, general recreation guide that gets posted every um, term. And you can browse any of the inclusive recreation programs that we offer for all those ages and different populations. Um, and then you have a coordinator in each area. So we have a coordinator for the West District. We have a coordinator for the South District. And that South area is the Far Haven, South Keys area. Uh, Central, anywhere from Westboro to uh, the downtown core. And then you have the East, which is where I oversee. And that's uh, like St. Laurent out into Orleans. And uh, all of our contact information is there. So you would just get in contact with whoever in the area that uh, you're looking to register for. And we would be able to do um, an intake meeting and uh, assess and see what you're looking for and uh, go from there. That sounds fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Alexander, for your time. Uh, and this is really interesting. So it's, a, it's an interesting... Uh, thing that we offer and I'm, I'm happy that we have these services yeah thank you for having me okay great well you have a great day bye